I only parry? I parry everything? Cap! This guy is not a one-trick pony just parrying. He's also a one-trick pony in Little Fire. Quick step, you know, the physical enhancements, all the level one skills or something that he learned, the simple shit that he learned after he got kicked out of the school. He mastered them so hard that it's pretty much just like such proficient OP skills now. Other than that, we had a battle with the spear guy. We kind of humbled him and the spear sovereign has something new to look forward to. And maybe, you know, Rick can be the new goal to chase. We <laughs> parried the invitation from, you know, the girl saying, will he be my page? But eventually, we you know, we got her. And now we should be entering a new arc. Let's begin today's reaction. The prince. So the black blade again, such an important blade. It's like a royal like treasure. And now bro just spent the whole episode scooping poop with it. Imagine if this guy knew that we were scooping poop. Sovereign 6? Yo, is the spear guy there? So this is a new title. I know the wizard guy. I think these are just the different teachers, right? From the different schools that we have. But Sovereign 6, okay. Yeah, cause like there are just like these marks on it, right? The blade, I thought it was just like natural design. I don't know. That's, uh, what are these like holes? Punches? Punch marks? Bullets? あの剣には武器だけにとどまらない価値があれ。それを軽々しく。そうではない。父もまたこの国を覆う不穏な。あの男にかけたのだ。He is. Will he parry the war? <laughs> like prevent the war from even happening? Maybe he'll parry the invitations to participate in the war and just like will go away. リーンの命を救ったあの男に帰ろう。for us something. Now, nah, will that happen in season one? I hope, well, I wonder how the pacing will be because this is what, like episode four or like episode five right now, right? I'm not sure. Do you guys know how many core of anime this is? If this is 24, then it's gonna get my hopes up. But like, I wonder if they're gonna cover this like war against the magical empire arc in this season. So, <laughs> Did I call him Rick in the opening intro? Cause like I confuse him with Osan. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you say anything? I said Rick. <laughs> Rick, nor Rick, nor Rick. Yeah, yeah. Just ugh, yeah. You're her master, bro. She's her page. I'll take it. Goblin hunting is better than poop scooping. And that's the whole thing in how Lin is useful. Because, like, Nora is, like, f -rank. Can't do anything. But if you have party with someone else, then, you know, you can, like, use it as an excuse to take up, like, uh, better quests. Goblin Slayer time! Goblin Goblin yes, you can. So excited. First big boy mission. First time! Yes. Yes. Her, Lin's entire purpose is literally just to exist in a party so we can take better quests. That's it. Look how cute she looks. No, I don't think she sees through you. I think you're just pairing your brain cell yet again. Yes, she would. She's begging for it, bro. Hey, while we're busy hunting the goblins, then she should go scoop the poop for us in the aqueducts then. Make herself useful. If he asked her, Hey, can you scoop the poop for me while I go take out of the goblins? Well, this party is for two. We gotta go together. Oh, just, just leaves without Lin. Bro just left. He's actually so eager. He's just happy. Now, 
like goblin threat like bro he already took down a minotaur we need like a goblin stampede we need like a hobgoblin we need some crazy motherfuckers to show up some kind of troll man like a what is it an orc i don't know an ogre no, you don't. Alright. Alright. I feel like that's a good opportunity to insert an ear joke about Trump here. Okay. Let's -a go. First big boy mission. Yay. よし。行くぞ。リン。はい、先生。ここが魔獣の森か。木の密度が高いな。俺がいつも行く木。他と生態が少し違うんです。そうなのか。Freedom. This is freedom right now. リン。ゴブリンとはどんな魔物なんだはい普段は森で木の実や小動物を残しておくと数が増えすぎて食料が不足し人里にあふれてくることもあります数を調整しています調整ゴブリンがいると言われているので狩り尽くすのもよくありませんはい
Hot guess. So that gem on his head, you know, you know the gem on his head, that flex that you know shown so much. Clearly, anime is pointing out that like that gem is important, right, on the top of his head. What if that gem is a magic item from the Magic Empire, intentionally used on monsters nearby to fuck up their competitor country? What about that, right? Because like, where would that gem have come from? How would he just have it? Immediately, if I think gem, I'm thinking of like runecraft, you know, we know about Magician Kingdom, it just kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, just the goblin, sure, bro. The ring that controlled the Minotaur also had a red gem. You wanted something. Something is off here, man. Something is clearly going on here, man. Now, Perry! What the fuck is happening right now? Why are they doing a Shonen recap right now? Hold up. You're gonna play the next five minutes the same shit again? No. Don't do this to me. No! Emperor! Oh, this is new! South species of Goblin King! So it's human research that created this thing, but it's forbidden knowledge. I wonder if that's also from the Magic Empire. It's like Geld in season I one. No, he did not. The layers of fucking misunderstandings happening right now. Both of them are just parrying their brain cells, bro. Both of them are so stupid. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, what's the difference between the parry he did in episode 1 versus these parries? Because, like, in episode 1, when he paired with the broken sword, it was almost like a disintegrating light that showed up after he parried and the Minotaur's head was cut off, right? Was there something else that happened at that time? Did a different... Did he parry and did some kind of weapon actually fly back to his head? I, I can't actually remember. <laughs> if he let her get hit. I feel like he just swinging his sword and just calling it parry. Any other anime character with a sword could do the same shit without calling it parry. And like, like you know what I mean? <laughs> parry! 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 Sorry, not parry. Potty. Fun fact. The word, the pronunciation potty, potty means fly in Korean. Like a, like a fucking fruit fly, like a knowing little fucking fly, potty. There's no wound. That same gem that we might have seen in episode one. Mana stone. <laughs> to throw in tree logs. <laughs> Damn, Lin! Lin clutched there! But that limitation does kind of suck, huh? He can only parry one thing at a time. But yeah, but what about that training though? What about episode one training, bro? Like, the whole training was he was putting up like a fucking laundry string worth of swords in the forest and he was parrying all of it at the same time, right? I don't know. The, the, they, that training scene was also weird. That training scene was all I didn't really understand because I guess he was like swinging and then the wind would make the sword move around. Then the autonomous movements of the sword now is what he's parrying. I don't know, but bro right now simply can't parry multiple things at the same time. I don't know. 
Thank you, Lin. Then just do one move that's gonna kill that gemstone. Oh, shut the fuck up. You know you can do it. He's gonna... Parry. So friendly fire, parry, deflected, and then that'll be an attack? No. The wind will simply propel him forward and he'll do a moving parry. I don't know. <laughs> Nah, we sturdy. I got it. As stupid as this fight may seem from time to time, the soundtrack playing right now is phenomenal. Now, all of that was possible because Lin used the wind blast on his back, then he's propelled forward at such a high speed. But let me ask you this. Remember last episode, the battle against the spear dude, and the spear dude looked at the ground, and he saw so much destruction on the ground because of the movements that Noor was doing. He is so fast, he can dodge everything because of the physical reinforcement and the feather step that allows him to move so fast. Couldn't he have just run and do the same shit? Maybe I don't need to like nitpick at shit like this, but the whole logic there was like the wind propelling him to go fast, but this motherfucker is faster than that. He moved faster than the light. No, remember? The Spear Sovereign, his move was speed of light. I just remembered. His entire thing is like, it reaches the speed of light. And this dude fucking dodged that We parry. We parry with brain cells. It's fine. <laughs> Ah, we got it. What magic? All right. Wait. Did you just not say, don't let us suffer too much? And instead of just slicing the head off with like a wind blade, she literally just like burned it alive. <laughs> That's the worst way to fucking die! You made him the dude to burn to death? What the fuck, Lin? The more I think about it, the more I realize like how stupid some of this shit is. May you rest in peace. This fucking guy still thinks like this is like the most simple goblin ever and now he's gonna underestimate his strength even more. While Osan Newbie Adventure is having Rick Gladiator realize his strength and propel himself forward, Rick is just going the other way and is like, yep, still weak, still goblin. Oh my god, this goblin, um, this goblin mission was so fucking hard, man. Could you imagine the other monsters? <laughs> We spending 14 years in the forest pairing again. Bro's gonna go home after this. He's like, you know what? This is too traumatic. This god, I'm not ready for this. I need to train and become stronger. 14 more years of pairing in the forest solo, and then he's gonna come back even stronger. Back at the prince. And clearly, the enemy nation did this right. Demon's heart from the holy theocracy of Mithra. That's the, you know, magical empire, right? But it's a demon's heart. Good. Ask who was with Lin. Oh, 
リンネブルグ様の隠密兵団ですら感知できないほどのシールだと。The what? 隠密兵団 And this seal is one such that not even the secret corpse can perceive it. Secret corpse? Is it what these dudes are? These are the secret corpse? 隠密兵団ですら感知できないほどのシールだと。その。召喚魔術であれば、王都の感知もが。There is potentially a traitor among us. Is that what the implication here is? It's like there's many different ways to prevent this from happening, yet it went undetected, implying that either whatever they did was so amazing and discreet, or one of us, there's a traitor among us. Goblin の数が減少しているようだと、冒険者ギルドから調査しような事例が起きているかもしれないな。こちらが過去三ヶ月以内の不審な事。ご苦労だった引き続き調査を時のガキがゴブリンを討伐する日が来るガブリンエンプロー思ったよりずっと大変だなんとか倒せたと思ったこと、no, だえそんなことは討伐世の冒険者には小さなことかもしれないが俺にとっては大きな Bro still thinks that this is a minor accomplishment, man. He's just like killed a fucking goblin emperor three times the size of the goblin king. He's like, you know what? Even this, I should celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> he has no faith in us, man. And it makes sense. That's a bit of an exaggeration. But like, Lin definitely was helpful. Like, that is undoubtedly like true. <laughs> その通りだ。実際に見るまで、ゴブリンがあんなものだとは思いもしなかったし、勝った。人の意志？なんだそれよ。で、ディメンハーツ。赤っぽい色をした。マナスタウン？のことか。だらだらマナ。心臓や喉元に埋まってるもんなんだ。Heart or the throat? So a mana stone comes from the heart or throat of a separate monster, but this time it was embedded onto the Goblin Emperor's forehead. Okay. はい。先生がそうおっしゃるなら、あれはゴブリンです。誰が何と言おうと。Why is she not saying it? Because it is still a goblin. A goblin emperor is a goblin. But she is conveniently leaving out, like, it's also an emperor, but fuck it. Because they're all very inexperienced. Lin is also super inexperienced, right? She's kind of been sheltered. Or maybe, yeah, she has been uh, influenced by Norse so much that uh, we just parry her brain cells too. <laughs> We don't got the ear. We fucked up. Oh, yes, this is not the normal. I parry a goblin. The end. And that is today's episode of I parry everything. And damn, this episode was like Loki so stupid. Because, like, I'm using too much logic, right? I'm trying to like understand everything and really break it down and try to like. Approach it from the perspective of the characters, but like many things were very contradictory. Like, why we had to fucking, you know, use the wind attack to propel forward. Like, the parry, like, he can't parry more than once at a time, even though he said that he was parrying multiple times in the forest. Like, how many swords at a fucking single time? I don't know. There is like a different timing or different direction. I'm not really sure. Is the mangaka just like trolling us? Is, is he just forgetting plot points? It's not so bad that it's. Honestly, if anything, I had more fun watching this because of the dumbass moments, and that's the beauty of reaction content where sometimes watching objectively good things is boring, but watching dumb shit and calling out the just like a clown fest thing that's going on, it's very fun to watch. So I still enjoy it. It's just like, damn, they just. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna conveniently leave out the fact that it was a goblin emperor. We're gonna conveniently, you know, forget the fact that he parried so much things before, but hey. We got work done. There was more lore about the specific sword. I think this is like a really important part where the brother was talking about the... Uh, how the sword was found in the dungeon by the king, you know, parting up with the six sovereigns. And you can see that there's these different dents on the, you know, the weapon. Even though they tried so many different things to change the shape, nothing will happen. Yet the sword has already these marks, so one has to question what even made those kind of marks. Beyond that, some other ulterior things going on the side, like the mana stone, who was it used by, you know, was it the, uh, the you know, the magical empire that's, you know, we're potentially going to war against, and how did it get summoned here without going in detections from our side? Is there potentially, like, a traitor amongst us? But aside from that, 
This was definitely another one of those episodes where we parried our brain cells, and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.